What's going on, YouTube? This is Fraz, aka Ferris, checking in with another video. So you find your way back home. Today's gonna be a special one. We're gonna be reviewing the Easy Boost 350 semi frozen colorway. Look at these beauties right here. This is what we're reviewing today the steel gray, semi frozen yellow, red, gum bottom edition. Color. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Faraz, aka Ferris, and I do a bunch of reviews on hype shoes. Today we're going to be reviewing, like I mentioned before, the semi-frozen yellow colorway. This is, at the moment, the rarest V2 till this day. Well, that's up until Friday. To jump right into the sneaker, we see that this shoe can be spotted a mile away. When they say semi-frozen yellow, in real life, it kind of looks like it's going to be a highlighter green. Starting from the midsoles, you have the highlighter green. Going up the shoe, on the lateral side of the shoe, you have infamous Yeezy Boost 350 V2 stripe, also in highlighter green. On the highlighter green stripe, you have the Supply 350 written in bright red. This is described to be a steel gray color. To the naked eye, it kind of seems like a navy blue, which gives it a real crazy nice contrast with the highlighter green but in my opinion, it's not really steel gray. I personally see some blue in it. Some of you guys may see some steel gray, but that's just my opinion. Comment down below, let me, let me know what you guys see. Laces are pretty much the same exact lace that they use on every single 350 V2. The rope style laces, the color, the color of the laces this time is going to be the same exact uh, color of the midsole and the top of the shoe, which is semi-frozen yellow. Moving towards the back of the shoe, you have the pull tab, which is also a uh, semi-frozen yellow color. On the pull tab, you, you have this nice contrast of orangey yellow stitching that goes through the pull tab. Quite interesting because you don't have this color anywhere else on the shoe, so to be able to see something else that's popping like on a pull tab, which is such subtle detail, but that kind of gives it a little bit more contrast. Bottom sole of the shoe, as you guys can see, it is a gum bottom, just like on the previous Yeezy Boost 350 V2, which was a sesame colorway and it does creep up towards the back of the midsole, um, as you guys can see. And when it does creep up, it does give a good, good contrast to the uh, semi-frozen midsole. Towards the front of the shoe, you can see also that the gum bottom creeps up to the toe of the shoe. If you guys are wondering what comfort is like on this shoe, it's pretty much the same exact comfort on every single Yeezy Boost 350 made till this day. I personally think that all Yeezy Boost 350s are really comfortable. It's great to rock with sweats, jeans, cargos, anything you can think of and at the end of the day, you'll be walking on a cloud. Now in terms of fitment of the shoe, I personally recommend that you always go a half size up just because of the fact that all Yeezy Boost 350s do run small. I personally rock a size 10 in any other shoe, but when we're speaking of Yeezys, I always wear, go for a 10 and a half. If you do get a chance to try on the shoe, then I recommend that you try it on because it does run small, like I've said before. Another trick that I wanna tell you guys is that if you remove the insole of the shoe, you actually create more room for your toes and you don't sacrifice too much comfort. Don't forget you guys, set your alarm clocks for 10 a.m. Central timing, because that's when the in-store release at Size Boutique will be. You can go ahead and visit our Chicago Ridge location. I'll go ahead and put the address right here, and we'll be doing an in-store release, first come, first serve. So if you're there, you'll be able to get it. We also have an online drop, which is at shopsizeusa.com. That will be held at 11 a.m. Central timing. So if you don't live in the States, then you should definitely come check out our website at 11 a.m. Central timing on Friday, December 14th. That's when we'll be doing the online drop and you can pop yourself a pair of semi frozen yellows. Because of two videos ago when I did the Sesame giveaway, you guys were a great support. So because of that, I'm doing another giveaway with the semi frozen yellows. Last time, Size Boutique specifically was given a pair away. So that was through the Sizes Instagram. But now, for you guys on YouTube, if you guys wanna win a pair of semi frozen yellows, what you're gonna have to do is sub to the channel, like the video, comment below what your size is, and a month from today, a month from today, I will be picking a winner and we'll be announcing it on this YouTube channel. So if you guys wanna know where I'm gonna be announcing the YouTube giveaway winner, it's gonna be on this channel. So it's currently December 12th. I'm gonna keep this giveaway going for about a month. So it'll give, you, it'll give everyone time to be able to join this giveaway. I had a lot of complaints last time because of the fact that the giveaway was too short for the Sesame's. So this time, from Faraz aka Ferris's channel, 
I'm gonna give you guys a giveaway with plenty of time to join. So make sure you comment your size, you like the video, and you subscribe. So I'm gonna show you guys how these look on feet exactly. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these bad boys off and put these bad boys on. All right guys, thank you guys for watching this review video. Um, like I said, the giveaway has been announced. You guys have a month to go go ahead and write the, all the rules in the description below so you guys can look at them or you can go ahead and rewind the video. That's it for me guys. This is your boy Faraz, AKA Ferris, signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay chillin'.